I'm pissed. I am so butthurt right now. This sucks, man. I'm actually pissed off. What's up, YouTube? It's your dude, Heat Ledger. And obviously, based on the title, your boy got scammed again. Before I get into it, please hit this video with a like and a subscribe. It'll really help me out. I'm having a terrible day right now. So I bought a pair of kicks off of someone I was speaking to on Instagram. And I just got back from the post office. I was so excited to get these shoes in. I unboxed them in the car. Cause I was like, I can't wait till I get home. And when I opened them, my jaw literally dropped. Like I was speechless. The guy I was speaking to is located in Virginia. He hit me up like a couple weeks ago and he just was like, I watch your videos. I think they're dope. We just had a really nice conversation and he seemed like a really cool guy. I'm not gonna put his information into this video because him and I are working this out as we speak, but I do wanna show you guys a conversation him and I had and the photos that he sent me, and then you guys can tell me whether that matches up with the pair of kicks that I'm gonna show you guys. Personally, I think I got completely screwed out of the situation, but maybe I'm being way too over dramatic. You guys can let me know. Let's go ahead and check these out. So before I get into the email conversation, uh, the photos and the kicks themselves, I forgot to mention that I'm helping some friends out over at Viter Energy. This is their product. I just wanna show you guys quickly. Um, they're basically breath mints um, with caffeine embedded in them. So this is perfect if you got that stank ass breath um, and you're running on about two hours of sleep a night, you just pop a couple of these. And if your heart stops, not my problem, but uh, check it out. I got the um, uh, some links down below in the bio as well as uh, a quick discount code if you guys wanna try these out. All right, so you guys can read the email conversation that I had with this guy, but basically he tells me over Instagram that he has some kicks for sale and I think it was like some Lillard, some Red 11s, um, he had some KDs, a few Air Maxes, and the only pair I was interested in uh, were the Air Max 90 infrareds. So I told him to DM me some pics, and he said he can only email. So we moved our conversation to email, and you know, this is what you're reading now. And the guy tells me, you know, he wore these, and get this, he tells me he wore these three or four times, and they've been in the box ever since. Um, and for me, I've been looking for this shoe for a while because it's the 2010 version, um, which has better quality materials than the latest retro that came out. So anyway, he shows me a few photos. The kicks look really, really good. I mean, look at these pics. Um, they look like basically flawless. And then he said because he likes my channel and he supports what I do, he will give me a uh, like pretty much a steal price. Um, I he, Yeah, he said 90 shipped which is basically like a little over a hundred dollars Canadian and I see them here for around like 200 or so and I understand shipping alone is like 20 or 30 bucks so I was like you know what this is a great price um, I don't see the 2010s that often so I just thought I'd just jump on it like I didn't really think twice the guy sends me the tracking number you know everything is cool everything is gravy and well I guess now we're we're here I'm so freaking pissed. I had to like lay down for a minute and then <laughs> I went and played basketball for an hour because I, I couldn't record this video anymore. And even before I get into this, they're in a New Balance box. I mean, nothing wrong with that. That's totally fine, but there's no OG box. And I guess I just assumed that um, if they weren't coming in the original box, he would let me know, but he didn't. Um, I guess that's probably my fault for not clarifying, but still, I was a little like, huh, when I first saw this box. Alright, let's just open these bitches up. My god, man, look at this. Like, I'm not even getting to the shoes yet. Let's just start with the laces. These weren't even on the shoe, first of all, when I opened the box. And look at them. They're, they're not even white. They're like gray, brown. There's like denim stains on them. Oh my lord. And bro, like, worn three times? Like, are you serious? Like, would, did you just not take these off since 2010 so it counts as like one wear? Like, are you serious, bro? Like, th what the hell? I'm so butthurt right now. Like, at least he cleaned the bottoms, but... Oh my lord, look at this. What is this? I had to turn the exposure down so you guys can see the damage three times. Look at this shit stains, man. We're missing paint on the back. Look at the... <laughs> Oh, jeez! All right, but straight up, like I'm obviously really pissed off and butt hurt and crying. But like, look at, like, let's be honest. This is nothing like the shoe that he sent in the photo. This is definitely not the same shoe. There's no way this is the same shoe. Like, I'm just like, I swear, when I open these, jaw on the floor. 
Oh, and the other piece of absolute comedy is that these aren't even an 11. Like you said in the email, they're a 10.5. Like, they won't even fit me. They're way too small. So, I mean, oh my goodness. Holy shit. And I just noticed, what the f... Look at the hair. This is all hair. Are you serious? Look at all the hair. Oh my god. What? What is wrong with this guy, man? Oh, shit. Did this man actually trim his pubes before sending them to me? Oh, my lord. All right, I'm done here, man. Like, there's not much more to be said. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Am I freaking out too much or... Like, come on, man. This, there's no way. There's no way. Worn three times, dude. And this hair situation is actually, like, pissing me off so much right now. I'm in nerd rage mode. Like, this is ridiculous, dude. I'm so upset right now. Anyway, that's it for now. Comment below. Hit me with a thumbs up. Do he sign out. Peace.